Hello and welcome to your new let's play. Me, you move six of Winds of Change. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go to Steam. Hyena. Anyways, in the last let's play, we went from the town square to the tavern. Pretty much just that. We also talked with the uh, head guy, the leader of the rebellion, about stuff and things. No, so we ate an apple in an alley. Anyways, now time to have heart to hearts with um, Ulrich and Pro. I remember names. Yes, please. Sit down beside Ulrich and look over at him. His big, muscly muscles. Being all muscly. A couple of empty glasses strewn about signal that he's already out of you. Jesus. Don't be like me. However, he doesn't seem to show it. Not at all. He's calm and collected. Hey, Cirrus, come to join me? I can recommend a few drinks if you'd like. Do you want something strong, or should we start weak? Probably weak. Well, if it's hard, then I want something strong. Be all flirty and stuff like that. Though, I don't know. This is probably the first time the main characters had um, alcohol, so... Baby steps. I would like to baby steps, but... How about we sip the strong thing? Perfect choice. Barkeep, more of the same. He motions to the bartender, and a few moments later, I'm given a glass. Ork watches me with a smirk as I take a large swig and swallow it down. It's strong, almost enough to make me cough, but I maintain my cool. Really? Okay. I thought that'd be a bit much, honestly. Good to know you can handle it like that. It's strong, but not quite on my level. Want another one? What are you in the mood for? It's just a bit stronger, but not too much. Now let's see what you have. Now you're talking. Here, I promise you won't regret this. I don't know. Usually my earlier drinking years, I'd usually regret it. I mean, I still regret it these days, but back then it was praying to the porcelain god. These days it's just having a shitty next day. Once again, he motioned. Wait, what time is it? Okay. He motions to the bartender and gives. And I'm given a drink. I can tell that this one's stronger. It's exactly the same as Ulrich's. As time passes, I notice him start to exhibit signs of inebriation. You, you notice him having an inebriation, but not yourself? I grip the glass and take a large swig. It burns. My eyes shoot wide open, and I try not to spit it out. Hey, how about you sip it a bit? You don't have to take a big swig, lady. It's a brief battle, but I eventually stomach it all. Wow, you're good. Most people can't handle this stuff. Mazeo is known for its strong liquor. He crosses his arms and stares at me with a blank look. But soon after, his facial expression becomes more stern. It's clear that the drinks are starting to hit him, and fast. How is it that it's hitting him? He's had a couple, but like, you know. He went from being sober to it's hitting him very fast. Meanwhile, I'm a lady. Probably about this high to him? Like this at most, maybe. He's supposed to be big and strong, and he's supposed to be... I don't know how big our sword is. But, um, and we've never had alcohol. I guess I'll stop messing with you for now. Truth is, I just wanted to see how much you could handle. It's a good test. A nice judge of character. And you passed. Well, then I have tons of character myself. He was testing me? You learn a lot about someone by how they hold their liquor. You're strong, at least. You have a strong will. I respect that. This is part of how they do things back in Alarinthia. Huh. I mean... I can handle strong liquor, but I wouldn't call myself strong-willed. I know I say I hate it, and I truly do, but some of its culture sticks with me. You left Valinorth, so it'll likely be the same. Here's the bartender, who brings him another drink. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still coherent. That's crazy. Seeing it down, he lets out a sigh of complete content. Sorry for rambling on like that. If there's anything I hate... It's a one-sided conversation. Is there anything you want to ask me? Right now, I'm an open book. 
Tell me about your love life. Well, you were just telling me about Alarinthia. Do you think there's any way we can save Valinor? Yeah, let's do the flirty thing. There isn't one to talk about, but that's by choice. I prefer to keep things casual without any strings. I have my reasons, but it served me just fine. One night stands and stuff. He smiles at me and takes another swig of his drink. Don't worry. I've definitely noticed your interest. So that's why I'm making things as clear as possible. Knowing that, do you really want to continue down this path? I mean, he seems to be all right, you know? I... Couldn't there be like a flirty, let's see where things go kind of thing? Kind of focus on the girl. Damn. Let's just click this. They wouldn't throw us in things first go, right? I mean, a little bit of sausage on the side shouldn't hurt. We're not in a dedicated relationship, right? Good to know, because I share the same interest. When you live as long as I have, you pick up on these things. No need to make a big deal out of this. It's just fun. When we get back to our new HQ, Dominic will give you a tour. My doors are open. If you want to do this, I'll be there. Just don't tell anyone. You know how rumors spread. They gave me the, uh, Alarinthian sausage. Either way, I think I've had enough. I'm gonna buy a bottle to bring to my chambers. Feel free to join me if you want to share another drink. I don't stand up, but all the drinks hit me at once. I stumble back and it won't catch me, wrapping his arms around me. Hey now, watch your step. The ground here could do some real damage. Well, yeah, it would. And then we go... He lets his hands wander around my body. My heart rate increases and I feel his hot breath strikes my neck. Actually, I think I'll get a few bottles for my place. Something tells me we'll be having more fun than I thought. A few months later, after overstepping my any boundaries, he lets me go. I had a few bottles of wine. He keeps his word before moving on to other things. Socializing with the tavern patrons, it seems that our moments, our moment was over. I guess we had to get to get things back on track. As enjoyable as it was, we had business to take care of. Hopefully, we had more time like this to unwind in the future. I don't know. I don't think the main character would be able to handle a bunch of drinks because today is supposed to be the easy, restful day. Tomorrow, not so much. And I hate hangovers. No, not as much as I like alcohol, unfortunately. Yeah, that's life. I'm doing better these days. Heart to heart with Pro. Now, can we flirt with him without being all flirty? Flirt, flirt. Dedicated relationships. Rose is back against the mailboxes, shifting through letters. He must be pretty popular, as his hands are full, were full of paper. I can't even imagine if he got that many letters in Va if I got that many letters in Valinorth. Oh. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Looks at me. Startled, he turns his face to the mailboxes. As if in a rush, he starts putting various letters in various boxes. Wait. All of those letters weren't actually his? Uh oh. Well, uh, you caught me. <laughs> uh, just don't tell anybody else, all right? This is one of the best ways to get information. Oh, fair enough. You got through other people's mail. Hey, why don't you let me help you? I'll let it slide if you tell me some secrets. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, an accomplice. I've never actually thought about that. I guess it could make things a little easier. Quite a bit so, since you're caught red-handed. Stand guard for me, all right? Let me know if anybody approaches. If I get caught, I can play it off as a misunderstanding. 
Okay. Oh, don't worry, just a little mix up. <laughs> Trust me, it works pretty much every time I'm caught. It's so easy to win people over. Just admit you did something wrong. Oh, so why don't you just go through them one at a time instead of having handfuls of mail, you know? They'll immediately switch their stance to defend you. Oh, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Mm. <sighs> People work in such weird ways. I doubt. He turns his back to he turns back to the mailboxes and raids them once again. I guess he assumed it was okay. I guess yeah, since I was one of his comrades. Big smile appears on his face as he borrows private information. It's amazing what some of these people get up to. The most innocent people could be involved in awful things. See, I can beat blackmail, but uh, <laughs> these people can't. Now, when you mean you can beat blackmail, you mean you don't have anything to be blackmailed of, or you do, but you can, you know, let it slide and other people can't. It's a good way to line the rebellion's coffers. So later today, I'm gonna pay this guy a visit. Dabs one of the letters in this, one of the papers in his hands. It would seem a reputable business owner is up to no good. What, really? I think he'd lose some business if people found out he worked with pirates. If I got him to pay me off, I could feed the rebellion for months, Cirrus. Okay. Looks at me as if waiting for my approval. Is everything okay? I'm not scaring you away, am I? This kind of stuff isn't for everybody. You're not scaring enough. Let's do this. You can't feed the rebellion with dirty money, pro. I'd say talk to Dominic first. Debt Damic, because um, I don't know. I don't know how they do their things. I'd like to do a little bit of middle ground. But like, what kind of piracy are we talking about? You know? I mean, it's heart to heart, so it shouldn't be too big. Now you're talking! This'll be my biggest score in months! I'll get it done tonight, and then celebrate in my room back at HQ. Feel free to pay me a visit. I'd be down for some quality time together. I feel like I'm gonna be spending lots of quality time with different people. Maybe being a little bow-legged as well. I mean, you still want to be friends, right? I hope all of this danger doesn't scare you away. I'm not like this all the time. Trust me, Cirrus. Mmm, you do potentially stab me in the stomach. <laughs> Hopefully we can be more than friends. But do I want to do that? I mean, calling somebody cute boy day, that's one thing, but having heart to hearts and being like, hey, uh, stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, keep middle ground here. I don't want to be juggling 15 different people of stuff, you know? And I'm thinking that isn't, you know, more than friends being best or friend or, but it's being um, relationship stuff, you know? And, I don't know, it doesn't feel like my type. Good, I'm glad. You caught me, so I had to come clean. Otherwise, I would have kept this stuff secret. Not many people know what I actually do. But if you pay attention, it's not too much of a stretch. It's just something I picked up from years on the streets. Maybe I'll tell you a bit more back at HQ. I'll use this big score to buy a bottle of wine. We can crack it open and get to know each other. Okay. Carefully places the letters back in their respective mailboxes. Clam his hands together, as if to brush off dust. He looks straight at me. Squint his eyes, it's almost like he's trying to judge or gauge me. I gotta admit, you're a bit different than I expected. That's surprising, since I'm usually a good judge of character. You'd make an interesting subject to write about, you know. I shrug, unsure of how to respond to such a thing. <sighs> now I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. Let's just stick to the plan. Bottle of wine, Rebel HQ... I have a new target, so I should probably get going. Okay. He smiles at me and rests a hand on my shoulder. There's not many people I can talk to about this kind of stuff. 
If I have to be honest, I'd say I'm kind of glad that you caught me. Next time we talk, it'll be your turn to spill some secrets. All right? Mm, Mr. Secret, stab Secret Stabby Guy. With a sly smirk, he slowly walks away from the mailbox. I guess now I know a bit more about Pro's true nature. But in time of war, I guess you had to resort to stuff like that. Demic must only allow it out of courtesy and necessity. I'm sure Pro would stop his behavior once the war is over. Hmm, we'll see. So rather than condemn him, I choose to take him up on his offer. Learning more about him over drink would prove to be entertaining. At the end of the day, it wouldn't hurt to make another friend. I turn back at the tavern, ready to move on to the next step, which is leaving the tavern. Right? The door? So, are you having a drink? Yep, next up is the uh, leaving of the tavern. To the mayor's house. I don't know why there isn't a... Uh... I guess you have to go here first. Time? 16? Okay. Oh, after Damick and Bark, I know it seems like an endless journey. However, after an hour or so, that is quite a while. Walking, we end up at a residential area. The buildings here are built quite beautifully. Very different from before. Wow, this place looks incredible. A town square was a little bit off. Not the best first impression, if you ask me. It's a sign of wealth to live far away from the markets. Only those who work live near the town square. Once you've got it made, you move out here. That is, of course, unless you're important to Mazeo. Grizz gets to live here free of charge for his services. That offer even extends to Lilith, his assistant. Right. You mean like our elder back in Valinorth? I forgot who Lilith was. Yeah, exactly. So make sure to be careful. In this district, pretty much everyone is royalty. Or at least they expect to be treated that way. Alright, thanks for the advice, Domic. She moves to the back of the group, almost like she's worried. We continue to talk, but not for much longer. Domic stops his tracks. To your right, Grizz's office. <laughs> Sorry it took a while, but you know how it is. It'll be an even longer trek back to our new HQ. Hmm, okay. Laughs and motions to a nearby building. I sit out from the rest, in both quality and size. It's time for you to tell us what's going on. I hate being left in the dark like this. You know that. Of course, of course. You know I'm a man of my word. I just didn't like talking about the stuff in the town square. What stuff are you, were you leaving out from the town square? You talked about a whole bunch of history, the triumvirate, gave me a whole bunch of information about the rebellion. He cracks his knuckles like he's preparing for something. I face towards Lessa, Fontaine, and myself with a smile. Topo says like he assumes that Ulrich and Pro are up to speed. Well, as you know, Mazio is rampant with piracy. All of that chaos needs some sort of order, right? Two pirates have risen to the challenge, Alex and Nada. Unifying all the pirates isn't an easy task, but they did it. They have established trade routes in the largest fleet in the world. We want to strike a deal with them and gain some ships. <laughs> easy, right? Mm. When we attack Balteus, we won't be able to hold back. Having enough ships to carry our massive army over is essential. And if we can get the pirates to fight with us, <laughs> even better. So is Boltaeus an island or what? I mean, I guess they... So if he did leave by a ship. Grizz made it clear that he wants to cut a deal. In order to win them over, we'll need to bend to their will. However, after learning that Alex and Nada have started to fight... Okay, important stuff. So they have started fighting... Now we have to choose who we side with. They both want different things, but they both offer ships. That's why we're here. I imagine they're waiting inside. He speaks with such passion and enthusiasm, it's enthralling. It's clear that he truly cared about Alestia and its people. The future of Maseo is likely going to change. It's so exciting. I'll negotiate with them and Grizz will make any necessary decrees. I just want my favorite people present. So that's why you're all here. He smiles and turns back to Ulrich and Pro. 
I trust there aren't any objections. Rook scoffs, crossing his arms. You sure up to the scale of our attack? I thought we just planned to steal a few ships, but now you want an entire fleet? What changed? We need to give this our all if we're going to win. But remember, we have a world to reshape when we're done. Striking a deal with the pirates is something that needs to happen. I might want to check the audio again, you know? I mean, we could wait until after the war, but if we do it now, we stand a better chance of winning. Plus, the people need to know that we're capable rulers, too. Fair enough. I concede. There's going to be one of those Fable 3 things where we go throughout the land, striking deals with everybody. Hope everything works out. Rook smiles. Promise of power and might appealing his, curio appealing his curiosity. That's brilliant, Domek. Taking care of ten problems with one move, as usual. I'm just glad that they get to see for themselves now. He motions to Valesia, Fontaine and I. It seemed like a sound strategy, to be honest. So how is it that we're going to help the pirates? Because I think we're going to have to choose a side, and then the other side, are they going to join the triumvirate, or what? So like a sound strategy, to be honest. Okay, military might improve himself capable of leadership. People would need to know that he's worth fighting, worth following. Uh, releasing Maseo from the grip of the Dramvrint would be a good, great start. Would? Would. Oh, I'm, st I'm just a little bit in the way there. Huh. And thankfully, Grizz is on her side. This wouldn't be possible otherwise. Well, uh, I guess it's time. I'm a little nervous, but I'll manage. Hmm. Quick smirk. He's on his way inside. Pro and Or going to, expecting us to follow suit. Man, things are sure busy around here. Hope we get to rest when we get to our HQ. You can drink. Come on, Fortum. It's interesting. We're watching history in the making here. If it's history, then it'll be in a book. I'd just sleep and read it when I get up. <sniffs> Talk amongst themselves as they enter Grizz's house. I guess I should hurry in so I don't miss anything. Did you say hurry in? I thought you meant uh, click on all the things. Grizz has so much more impressive than the others. Sand's just as tall and is t easily twice as wide. You must have tons of free space in there. There's a potential ditch to go. It seems to go on forever. But it's just all flat, so there seems to be no elevation like in Valinorth. Back home, the social status was determined by how he lived. There's lives at the top, and he's the most important. I was given the house next to the main street. So he walked to Milas. Uh, I wonder how social status is determined. Mizeo, maybe I'd ask Dominic. Damic. Signpost in every p position, possible direction. Able things like Town Square, Residential District, and a couple of other, say, Dogs Church Triumvirate. And I guess it's easy to find directions in Mizeo. It would be. It seems like the route Apple HQ would be in the opposite direction. As I've learned, it's located in the tunnels underneath the church. But stealing the tunnels underneath the Triumvirate's church. Uh, something about that seems incredible risky to me. I'm sure Dominic Damic knows what he's doing, though. Yeah, we might have time to get in. As they enter Chris's house, I'm taking back by how massive it is. The front desk, a front desk, probably for his assistant, rests near the door, front door. But behind it is a massive atrium with a staircase leading up. I'm willing to bet that uh, Chris's office is at the top of the staircase. Look around and find Damic, Ulrich, and Pro chatting with a woman. This must be the assistant that Damic mentioned earlier. After noticing me enter, she quickly approaches us. Bless and Fontaine retreat behind me, leaving me in charge. I need to take a step forward and introduce myself to her without hesitation. I've heard so much about you, Cirrus. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. I don't know why that character looks familiar. She puts her hand forward, and I give her a firm handshake. Pleasant Fontaine seem immediately at ease, as she's very friendly. For a moment, I'm not entirely sure what they were expecting. I'm guessing that's the Blade of Exodus. No, yes, maybe. She tilts her head uh, towards my back. 
You can take that cloak off in here, by the way. Everybody in this office knows what's going on. There's no need to hide around Grizz, or myself. And on remove the makeshift hood covering my head. I feel fresh, mazane air on my face for the first time. Come back here with the rest of us, alright? I think they're almost ready to head upstairs. She goes to the main, main landing area in, of the atrium. We move past her desk, which acts almost like a barrier. I'm assuming she acts as Grizz's guard as well, standing watch. In a few moments, we regroup with the others. Ta they're talking amongst themselves, but Lilith brings that to an end. Having her hands together at once, uh, and very loudly, their attention is grabbed. Sorry, Lilith. Uh, uh, just lots to think about at the moment. I'm almost nervous to walk up there, if I'm honest. There's no need to be nervous, Domic. It won't be any different from the last time you were here. Just a few added bodies, that's all. Not the end of the world. I just don't want to make the wrong choice. There's a lot riding on this, Lilith. Let me guess you're going to make me do it. Have you made the wrong choice in the past? Well, I don't think so. Then you'll be fine. Besides, Alex and Nada aren't too bad. They're both playing ball to get what they want. That means they'll have to be on their best behavior. So if being in the presence of pirates was a worry for... Oh, no, that's not it at all. I'm more than happy to work with the pirates. You're right, though. I have a good track record. Let's have a nervous laugh before looking at the top of the stairs. I guess that'll have to do. Are they ready? Yeah, they're expecting all of you. It might be a bit crowded, but you'll manage. Did you happen to overhear anything? You know, so I don't go in blind? Unfortunately, no. They're being very discreet. Oh well, worth a shot. I guess it's finally time to do this. Are you ready, everybody? Looks at all of us one by one, and we nod. I can tell he's trying to delay this. But I'm not sure why. Grizz will give me a debriefing when you're done. I know you're busy, so after this, just go on your way. Lots to do and little time to do it, right? You'll have to look at it like these bricks, those candles, that book there, whatever the hell that is. He glances at me, and that's where I'm back before walking away. Seems this quick detour wasn't going to be quick at all. During these negotiations, everything could change. Hopefully, Damick would be able to get what he needs. I just hope that the pirate demands aren't too extreme. With the high ground, they had the right to request an anything. We all look at the top of the stairs, ready to get our things moving. This would be a very important moment for Damick and the rebels. To that end, we shouldn't keep Chris waiting for too much longer. I got hiccups. I'll we'll click around for things. We need whatever that book is. It looks in on the wide open table on one of the desks. It seems to be a news article, and recently written too. I took it further and learned the details of Maseo's piracy. The blurred lines of piracy. The pirates of Maseo undertake the importing and exporting of illicit goods. Everything else is handled by the Maseo Shipping Company, and there is little else that divides the two factions. They both have established trade routes, a large group of workers and clients all over Alestia. Many people see the pirates as harmless individuals, simply looking to make a living by seizing opportunities that others don't. The way that pirates are treated today is vastly different than before the triumvirate's occupation of Maseo. Was that intentional? We have to wonder if this was the triumvirate's goal. When asked his opinion on this matter, the local pirate lord Alex had this to say. I find it hard to believe that a small piece of paper is all that stands in the way of me and my people living an honest life. We don't hurt anybody or put anyone in danger. The people of Maseo are clinging to a legal decree that makes no sense. I'd like to see the trade bans lifted and me and my people introduced into society as honest workers. That is my dream, and I continue to fight for it. When asked for her opinion, Nada, the other pirate lord, refused to comment. So, as far as I know, she's the person doing illicit trade, so... I guess things are more complex than I thought. It's almost like Alex is fine for more rights. All that 
Binds the groups to one piece of paper. Important papers are strewn on the back of the desk. It's not in business to read them, but a curious honesty overtakes me. I slowly approach the desk and try my best to make out what I can. It seems to be a bunch of papers regarding upcoming shipments. It's a correspondence between Grizz and, and the Mazeo Shipping Company. Underneath the papers between Grits and the Triumvirate is letters between Grits hey, and Triumvirate. get away from there! Those papers aren't for your eyes. That's top secret. Only for the mayor! Oh. Eh, then why leave them out in the open like that? Franken continues. She gathers them up and takes them away. It's running all over the place. This must be a busy girl. What is that thing? That's the door that leads to Grizz's office. There. On the dramatic side, if you ask me. It definitely makes him feel important. Underneath the stairs rests some sort of contraption. I had to guess, it would be a statue representing the spirit idol. The Tsar's name on the date must have been expensive. That thing? What is that supposed to be? Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, I think that's everything we can do. Well, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this. Let's place a comment, cause I like comments, so much you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to have it grow, and please remember to spay new animals to have control the pet population. And until next time, I'll let's play me, Animal Wolf 6 of Winds of Change. See ya.